I am Maria Garcia de Fleury. On February 21st, we remember Cardinal José Ali Lebrun, who was born in Puerto Cabello, Carabobo State, Venezuela, on March 19, 1919. A very spiritual priest with that tranquility that is only given by total trust in God. He was the oldest of five siblings, and his first studies were at the La Salle School in Puerto Cabello. From the age of 14, he entered the minor seminary in Caracas. He studied his philosophy at the Pontifical Pio Latin American College in Rome and theology at the Pontifical Gregorian University of Rome. He finished his studies at the Javeriana University of Bogota. He was ordained as a priest on December 19, 1943, by the Bishop of Valencia, Monsignor Gregorio Adam, consecrated bishop on September 2, 1956, and was named Auxiliary Bishop of Maracaibo. Upon the death of Monsignor José Rincón Bonilla, he took over as Bishop of Maracaibo. Pope Pius XII established the Diocese of Maracay on June 21, 1958, and appointed him as the first Bishop of Maracay. There, he organized the canonical coronation of the image of Our Lady of Charity of San Sebastián de los Reyes, met and worked with Mother Maria de San José, founder of the Augustinian Recollets of the Heart of Jesus in Venezuela. In 1961, upon the death of Monsignor Adán, Pope John 23rd appointed him Bishop of Valencia. At that time, he attended all four sessions of the Second Vatican Council. Between the sessions, he returned to Valencia, toured the diocese on pastoral visits, began the construction of the seminary, created new parishes, convened a diocesan Catholic Ethical Congress, created the Diocese of San Felipe and San Carlos, wrote a book titled Elogio to Monsignor Gregorio Adam, as well as a series of pastoral letters, and was an occasional contributor to articles in the Caracas newspaper called El Universal. He was named an honorary causa, honoris causa doctor from the University of Carabobo. In 1973, he was given the position of coadjutor archbishop and apostolic administrator of the Archdiocese of Caracas. And in May 1980, he was named archbishop of the Metropolitan See of Caracas. Pope John Paul II elevated him to the dignity of cardinal on February 2, 1983. He thus became the second cardinal in the history of Venezuela, the Venezuelan Church. He was president of the Venezuelan Episcopal Conference, and in preparation for the first visit of Pope John Paul II in January 1985 to Venezuela, together with the bishops, he prepared the Great National Evangelizing Mission, which became the permanent mission. When he turned 75 years of age, he resigned from the position, given that among the provisions created at the Second Vatican Council, it was established that bishops who reached that age had to resign. As Cardinal Emeritus, he continued working in Caracas until his death on February 21, 2001. Currently, his process to be beatified is open because without a doubt, throughout his life, he was a man of God with great wisdom. And in the midst of his great simplicity and humility, he made the faith in the Venezuelan people advanced, as well as he shaped and strength, strengthened the general structure of the church in a series of aspects due to his profound conviction that with God, we always win. Mm -hmm.